Okay boys and girls, Alex back again. This video is going to introduce you, for those who haven't seen it, to the Grabo. For those that have seen it, well, you know all about it. Again, it's not so much a review as a proof of concept. If you want to see the item in action, go out to Izzy Swan's website. I'll put a link to it. You can check it out, check out its use and all that. Basically, for me anyway, and I initially bought it as a rich man's version of this glass lifter. Now, I don't know whether this is going to work on here or not. I'll give it a try. There you are. It didn't, and in fact, it just left a nice little rubber ring on this that I've got to get rid of. But the whole idea is to lift up glass. Now, most people sort of think, well, yeah, that's a rich version of lifting up glass, and I don't play with glass. Well, forget glass, buddy. Timber. There's a on-off switch here. Green button turns on uh, the suction. The red button releases the suction. Green pressing the green button again stops the continual suction and all that. You get incredible life out of the battery, as I said. Not a review. Go and check out Izzy's website. Here we go. Put it on there. That's been switched on. Turn it on. You'll hear it sucking away. And there you have it. You know, I can whack myself on the head with it and all that. Now, this is going to continually keep going. And it doesn't reach maximum pressure. And... When I just stop the green button, it should redo it, but it virtually releases, and the main reason is, this is a joint board, there's a seam down the middle, and I found that because of that seam, air is being sucked through between the two boards. So it just goes to show it's not 100% sealed, um, and unfortunately, the board isn't wide enough for me to try it. However, I'll just quickly stop the... Um, so, as you can see, this is highly polished. When I say highly polished, 240 grit. So it's smooth as a baby's bum pine. I'll go and get another piece of wood. Okay, here I am with a piece of wood. It's really fairly rough grain, as in hasn't been dressed properly it's probably straight well off their saw or whatever now slap this on hopefully press the button straight away it's going to come up to maximum thing this should come on stop no it's still sucking through the grain but as you can see it's uh yeah, it, you'll hear it cut, it cut out and cut in. That's because as soon as it loses pressure, it'll keep coming again. Look, I won't overtax it, release it, but as you can see, the whole idea of this is it's a vacuum clamp, much like my expensive um, Festool SysVac. So what is this video about? I'll show you. I made this attachment for it as a proof of concept, like this Grabo has got a couple of lugs on there, eyelets, where you can attach stuff to. Now, what I've done is I've made this jig type of thing, that was cut out on my laser out of MDF, look, you can do it whatever, to me it was just a quick dirty proof of concept. These things up here are nothing other than at the moment spaces and potentially that's where you would have bits of timber coming up here to extend your jig however you like. Now to attach it to that I'll show you quickly undo this
in the other one. That will fit into these lugs, hopefully. Well, hopefully you can see it too. Fit into those lugs. Grab the unit and I'll bolt this on. The positioning of that here in this example is immaterial. It really doesn't matter because it's only a, a the exercise of it. Oh come on. All this came about because of my dodgy left arm that is still out of operation and I needed something to be able to move a cabinet around. Anyway, that's not what we're after. Oh yeah, that's right. I knew there was a reason why I didn't want these bloody things. And this one keep them out of the way. Now, the whole idea is to get two clamps. I'll get some two beefy clamps and clamp it to my bench. I'm sure you you guys are starting to, whoops, that's not going to help much at all. What did I do when I, alright look, it's not going to help much, as I said, at all. Yes, it will. Not with the big plank, but somehow you would naturally attach that to a bench somewhere. This can be on a pivot. So you can swing it up or down. So let's grab this little unit. Hopefully it's... No, bugger. It's not big enough. All right, we'll go this way though. Turn, grab my plank, put it across there. That's been turned on, turn on the button. Oops, wrong button. As you can see, it's holding, holding quite well. So, the concept of it is, switch it off, oops, stop your bugger. The whole concept is to attach these gadgets to those eyelets so you can then turn this into a vacuum clamp. Now, how fancy you get with this addition the attachment depends on how manoeuvrable you want to get whether you want to move it sideways, twist it around or whatever um, that is up to you to decide it's more the fact that you can for roughly what is it, three, four hundred bucks these were three ninety nine, you can buy the downgraded one for two ninety nine I think and that is just a tad cheaper then the entire setup of the Festool Sysvac, if you go overboard like I have, that costs up roughly about four and a half grand. It wasn't, you know, I got change. Probably I could afford to buy an extra cask of wine out of that four and a half grand, but not much. So now you've been introduced to not so much the Sysvac, but the concept of this Grabo, and you will in the next video see it in use in another completely different way that most people well probably wouldn't think of so you can either go away and forget about it or wait till you see the next video Uru boys and girls keep safe before I totally go um, while I've got you here the whole idea of this little jiggy contraption is the design of this doesn't let you thread the bolt through oops that way which to me would be the 
ideal way to attach something. You've got to actually go in there and somehow get the nut and bolt in. But depending, you, you might be able to have your jig on the outside there. What I've done is I've actually captivated, you can see it in there hopefully, captivated the nut in there in such a way that it won't spin around. It's got the hex profile on it so you can then tighten it up properly. Anyway, that's the concept. It's more, as I said, just to give you some ideas if you decide that, hey, shit, that's a good idea, I might think about that. Um, give you some clues of where to start. And as I said, this thing is absolutely brilliant. It'll pick up pavers. It'll pick up concrete slabs. Um, as I said, I don't want to do a review. I don't want to sell this bloody thing. But on glass, I think it's got a capacity of about 170 kilos, which is a bloody hell of a lot of pounds. Um, and that's glass. Naturally, it's got a smooth surface. Concrete, um, yeah, um, and it doesn't have to be absolutely smooth concrete. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, yeah, for all it's worth, MDF, not too good. Um, thick MDF, good, but MDF is very porous. So you'll probably find that on uh, um, up to about 12 mil MDF, it'll suck right through it. And while you'll get enough, probably enough traction to lift it, I'd probably, oh, maybe 12 mil would be okay. Nine mil is probably where you'd, oh, shit, look, I'll stop the video and get some nine, 12 mil. Sorry, kiddies, I couldn't find any nine mil. Shit, this is starting to turn into a bloody review now. I found some 6 mil. I'll put it on there and let you see what's going to happen. Turn that on. Um, it's not even sucking. Look, it's lifting it up. But as you can see, the pressure, well, you might be able to see, the pressure on there is zero, which basically means that uh, it's not sucking. However, shit. There you are. I had to pull fairly hard. To get that off but so it will hold but you know I certainly wouldn't risk my life on it now that six mil nine mil is going to be better 12 mil and anything uh, thicker than six mil um, is going to be better so let's stop there now actually what sold me with this because I did have the Sysvac, so I didn't really need this, but what did sell me on it when Izzy was advertising, he was selling this plate here, which when you put that, the grabo on that, turn it on, with the attachment, this turns this into a vacuum pump. Now to me, I could see benefits in that because I do a lot of laminating, veneering, um, or not a lot, but I do enough to say that this would be better than my manual pump. So, turn it on. I have to plug that up. But as you can see, um, it's quite good. But anyway, for all it's worth, as I said, this is what got me interested in the Grabo. Having got that, um, I reckon it's brilliant. The concept and what I could use it for is brilliant. I've been using this actually to hold on to a cabinet so I could swing it around, especially when I put the covers on it. I can only hold it on the edges and at least I had something to grab hold of. But anyway, that's a different story, different place and I've really crapped on far too much. Uru, this time. I hope.